Fire in the hole. Hey guys, in today's video we're going to make an air cannon and a water cannon. And we're going to be working with electric, so you always want to be careful with electric. But I also want to show you uh, some of the things that I ran into that caused some problems with this, right? So, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Before we go any further, the problem that I ran into within this is that I didn't do a, a, a current matchup with the valve and the power supply and that caused that power supply to burn out. So I ended up having to do some of the stuff manual so I didn't have to rebuild it and everything just for the video. But here's what you, you wanna make sure you do. Make sure your power supply is in the same current rating as your valve. If not, you may burn up your power supply, you may burn up your solenoids. So make sure you do that. Um, if you end up in a situation where it burns out and you still need to use it, here's what you can do. This is your valve adjustment. And literally, you can take this and turn it real quick, and it'll open the valve and close the valve. Worst case scenario, there you so go. So let's say that you're using this and you need to use it a little bit more. Uh, you can still use this in manual without that electrical switch. So I just want to make sure I show that to you guys. So there you go. One inch thread to slip. One inch. One inch slip to thread. One inch thread to a two inch slip. Two inch to three inch slip. And then a three inch pipe. So this is about at 74 PSI. <laughs> so just for fun. Fire in the hole. That was a bit over 70 PSI, so kind of a neat vibration only at 6 PSI, 6.5 PSI. I think it hits that, that right frequency to really vibrate this, that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see what we can do with this and change this into a water cannon. Let's see how we do that.
So we're testing this at about seven PSI, just to see what happens. We've not glued anything together, which I totally suggest gluing this stuff together, but we're just having a little bit of fun here. So we'll see if it blows apart or not. Here we go. Seven PSI. We made a, we made a hot tub. All right, so here we go at about 25 PSI. Why would you not build this? Why? <laughs> this is a 57, so I think this is a pretty good little range for this. So let's try this out. Here we go. Oh, there went the pieces. <laughs> and that's why we're gonna have to glue it. Busted my eardrum. Wow. And that's why we're gonna have to glue it. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> glued everything up to here. And the reason why I'm stopping right now is because we've got to figure out the angles. So I just want to kind of see where I'm at with this elbow and where exactly I want to place this because once this is glued, it's pretty solid, right? So I want to figure out the angle, this elbow, because this is coming out here and I'll move it around here a little bit because I think I want to ha kind of have it going forward a little bit like that. So once again, making sure it's straight, coming out right in here. That way I can kind of angle it forward like this. So I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. So at that point, I'm just going to draw a line here. Maybe a secondary. That way I can align these marks. Just like that. Hey guys, so that's it for the video. I'm sure there's a lot more tweaking that I could do to this little project to uh, really kind of solidify it, but I wanted to give this to you and show you a little bit about something you can do with an air cannon. It's actually pretty cool. In the water, you really don't have to do uh, too much PSI, so I think between 30 and 40 PSI, you had something that was absolutely good for a yard uh, above that, and it gets pretty interesting. So. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys next time.